Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a quick tutorial on getting you started with Sheep and Farming Simulator uh, 22. So we're going to go into all the different details here, just a few things. Again, I haven't tested every single possibility out there, but this is just to give you an overview to kind of get you going with it. So first things first, we need to place down some sheep pens. If we go into the store menu, down here are the three lines at the bottom, construction mode, go over to the animals tab, down here over to sheep. We have three in-game sheep passers. I already have them placed out. But the first one here is holds 15 sheep. You can move it around just like that. Next one is 51,000 will hold 25 sheep. And then we have this one here that'll hold 65. Now there are a few differences between these different pens, but we're gonna talk about them out and about here. So after we have our sheep pen placed, the next thing we need to do is get sheep here. So there's a couple ways to do this. First off, again, we can just go back into the store menu down here, animal dealer, select the sheep pasture we'd like to go into. Hit start, and then we have this many here where we can choose the sheep we'd like to buy and put over to here. Um, so we're not going to worry about this screen right now. We're going to show you that off in a second here. Now, the other way you can go about it is you can uh, purchase, if we go in the store, under Animal Transport, you can purchase. This is the only one in base game. You can purchase this, which will hold 38 sheep, and you can transport them that way so there's no transport fee. Now, if you do come up over to the pens, you'll see this little kind of uh, paw icon. You can come up to that. I'll open the help menu here so we can see. Up in the upper left-hand corner, it says R to open the animal dialog. So if I go up over to this one, we'll start with open the animal dialog. Um, not only does it have up here as well, it will give us this menu here, but up here, what we didn't have in Farming Center 19 was how many sheep we currently have or how many animals we currently have out of how many can fit here. So uh, just something to note there. Now, again, you have fees. So if I wanted to select these guys now, 15, or so if I just actually, we'll just go back down to one so you can see the transport fee is only $30. So it's much more reasonable than it was in um, FS 19, which I think so, which I think is fantastic. Now, um, another thing to note as we're purchasing sheep here, I'm going to hit cancel on that. Uh, we have different types here. So we have four different breeds, but if you look down there, all of the different features about them are the same. So as far as I can tell, there is no difference between any of the different sheep um, as far as production goes. I haven't done any experiments or tests on it, but they should all produce fairly similarly. We just have names for them. The one thing that is different in each breed, you have one that is zero months old. So these ones will not be reproducing yet. And then you have the ones that are eight months old, which will be reproducing every five months. So um, we can do different things like that. So if I wanted to select those guys, I put I can put five of those in there. Um, and then if I wanted to put 10 of these guys in there, we can select that or just, it doesn't matter, five or whatever, uh, purchase those guys, we can put them in there. Now we can do the same thing for the other pens over here. So if I walk up here and I wanted to put, let's say, um, we'll put some of these guys in here. Now there's no visual difference either between um, the different breeds, but if I put five of those guys in there and then if I go to our big pen over here, and I'll show you where everything is on all the pens here. Go all the way over here to the far side. Right here, we have the animal dialog again, which I will go ahead and select. We'll put five of those guys in there, and we can put five of those guys. And again, you can adjust this however much you want, and it'll keep it that way. So um, there we go. All right, so we got some sheep in there. Now, if we open up our our menu here, and we go down to animals on the left-hand side, it'll show us all of our different pens and what we have going on in there. So uh, if we go through, they're all very similar as far as what's going on in the pens and what they're needed. So let's go and take a look at just the sheep pen large here. So um, first off, health so we have health down here this will go up as um this will go up as they get everything they need over here um reproduction health or reproduction excuse me so reproduction this is telling you what's wrong and why they're not reproducing um and then this will go up as all these uh, requirements are met so if we go down to we have young ones here their age is less than eight months so they're not going to reproduce these ones will reproduce once their health goes up though so if we go back up to the top here over here the conditions so productivity that's going to go up as again they have food and everything else they need uh, wool that's how much wool they're producing or how much wool is out there that they produced food there's a total bar here which doesn't really matter a whole lot for sheep since there's only one food category but if you had multiple food categories this total bar would reflect the total amount of food in all categories so the one food category for sheep is grass. So again, down here at the bottom, they will take grass and hay for an effectiveness of 100%. You do not need to provide them both. You just have to provide them one or the other, but you also can provide them both if you really wanted to. It'll just all get uh, lumped into this category down here. Now notice there's no cleanliness bar. You do not have to clean the sheep up in FS22, which is very nice. There's also no water bar. You might think that's a little odd. Um, and that's not because they don't need water. Um, the barns themselves will give them water. They have water tanks, so they will take care of the water for you. Um, and that will be all done. So you don't have to worry about it, essentially. You can see they have a water trough in there. That's all done. So you don't have to actually provide water to the barns. Now, 
The outdoor pen over here, you will see it does have a water icon, so this one does need water. And if we go down here to the sheep pasture, we now have a water bar over here that will need to be filled. So what can we use to do this different stuff? So let's talk about water first, since water is the easiest and simplest. These two, we don't have to worry about it. So how do we get water here? Well, if we go in the store under animals, we can buy the Aquatrans. 9,500 will hold 7,300 liters of water. There's a couple ways to go about getting the water. You can, if I go to the map here, I actually tested this, so it does work. I can go down to like this water supply, which is where I was able to get some water, and I can back the trailer into there and I can fill up from there. The other way is if we go into the build mode here under construction, if we go to, um, uh, excuse me, no, it's gonna be under, where is it at in here? Uh, silos, I believe. No, where is it at here? Uh, here we go, containers. So we go to containers, the very end water tank, which I have placed down over here. I can also get water from there. It does charge me though, it's not free water. So I'll show you that in a second here. So if we hop in here, hit R to start filling that up. You can see it is charging my money up in the upper right hand corner. We don't need that much water, so we're gonna stop there. $74, so it didn't charge me very much to get a little bit there, but um, there you have it. Now, how do we put water in here? All we're gonna have to do is come up over here to where this icon's at. And then right there, we saw we had to come up, might have to get a little closer. I had to unload water, and we will get them some water put in there. So now they have water. So that part is taken care of. Now the final part is feeding them. So we need to get them some hay or grass. Now you can either do this in the form of bales, or you can use loose or loose hay or loose grass in a trailer. So I'm actually gonna use a bale, which I bought at the store. So again, you can purchase, if we go to the store here, uh, under bales, you can purchase grass, uh, Round, um, round or square hay bales in here to get you what you need as far as that goes. Now they're 8,000 liter bales, so they'll have plenty for you. So if I actually go up over here to this far one, should start overloading the bale into your food trough as I get close enough here. And there we go, and you saw the sheep ran over. It took me a little bit to get that in there. It was a little finicky there, so I put a little bit of a cut in there. But once I finally got it in there, we're good to go. And you see this bale now has 5,000 liters. I can get out here. Now again, I can go do this wherever I need to for these guys. Their food triggers are on the back. So you're gonna see this little icon here, this little dump icon. That's where you're either gonna dump or place the bales at to get it in. Um, so if we go back over here, I wanted to do it for one of the other ones here. We can actually get it over there and get it in. We'll see if we can do it a little bit better. These ones might be a little bit easier to get it in. And there we go, I was finally able to get it in. It has 500 liters now left in it. Uh, so if we look in our menu here, go back down to animals, we're gonna see that these guys have some, well it says grass in there, that's their category, grass or hay. Um, and these guys have grass or hay in there. And now I'm just gonna put the last little bit of this bale um, over here, or I, I could just put the last little bit of this bale over here, I'm not going to actually, but um, yeah, just to put it in here. But yeah, you can put it in there. That's how you get all that stuff taken care of. You have a little storage facility on this, which is kind of nice. Now, finally, what do sheep produce? What do they produce? Well, they produce wool. So we have a hazard box here. That's where their wool is gonna come out. On the sheep over here, we have a hazard box on this side, which is where they're gonna come out, the wool pallets. And then over here, wool pallets are gonna come out here. So that's where the wool pallets are gonna come out. So if we go ahead and fast forward time here, which I'm gonna do, um, and then bring you guys back in, I'm just gonna fast forward a day. Um, we'll see some wool pallets out here and we'll talk about what to do with those. All right, so a day's gone by. We do have a wool pallet out here for this guy. Um, and then this pen actually should have darn near a full one. Oh, I don't know why it's not spawning in over here for these guys. But anyhow, they should... Be, oh, I know why it's not spawning in. Of course, we didn't feed these guys. So there's a prime example there. Uh, and if we go down here or up to these guys, their health is 0%. Now they haven't... I don't know if the animals will actually die off at all. I haven't tested all that or done any of that. But you can see these guys, health 100% now, productivity 100%. And they're producing wool. Same with these guys here producing wool, they're going through their water. All of that stuff is happening the way it should. Now, what to do with wool? So first off, just like any other product in game, the first option we have is if we go into, excuse me, not that menu, this menu here, and we find wool on here. Find wool, let's see if we can find it in here. Right here, wool. We can sell it at any of these locations to just turn a quick profit here if we wanted to do that. Now, if we own production buildings, we can actually take this and produce it further. So what we can do is we can take wool or cotton for that matter. We can take it to the spinnery. If we own it, we have to own that production building and the spinnery will make fabric right here, which we now can sell for more money. Now, if we wanted to then buy the tailor shop, which is a step further, we can take that fabric we produce from our wool and we can sell it as clothes right here, which we'll get even more money from. So uh, productions can, again, and you can lead you further and further along. So there are a few options to do that, which I love that that's a base game feature in FS22. 
But anyhow, guys, that should be just a very intro, very basic uh, version of how to take care of sheep. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down below in the comments. But anyhow, guys, uh, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.